welcome back to Let's Play Creepy Infant Cycle 4 Blue Line. Ah. I had to really press down on the start button to skip the intro. How long has it been? It's been another few days. Like I've recorded a total of 20 parts now for the Resident Evil Let's Play, so this one's fallen behind considerably. It's still September 21st, so let's still try for the October, you know, record for October before October comes around. Man, it's exhausting, man. Recording pretty much almost every day, editing constantly. It's like that's precisely why, you know, I said this will be the last October special after this. I'm just going to like, you know, from then on, October will just be like any other month rather than being the October special where I like, you know, record a ton in advance and upload daily because that's just so exhausting. So, if I remember where we left off, uh, What's-His-Face died. As did my iron. So that kind of sucked. I don't think there's anything new around here, right? I mean, there was like pointing to a room, but I assume it's more a case of... Uh, wasn't she like pacing back and forth? Why is she on the bed now? But I think it's more to do with it's like, okay, go in the hole again, you'll spawn in a new location. That seems to be the pattern. Also, put together a trailer for uh, the October special. <laughs> it's like. Well, listen, it's not quite as bad as, like, say, mentioning it in my Resident Evil. Zero help me because it'd be like, I think I mentioned it maybe in part 14 Or maybe it was even, no, it might have been even further than that. I can't even remember. I lose track because of all this You know consistently recording almost every day So it's like not like that one where it'd be like halfway for October and it'd be like, oh, yeah I made the trailer around about this point, but it's still September feel like it's a kind of randomized, you know, what you'll see occasionally here. I get the feeling we're going to have a different hole at some point if we're going to go through. Blood, it's too blood. It smells horrible. Yeah, it's like that water-filled room in the cylindrical prison. Yeah, the guy... So it doesn't look like a human made it. It's getting bigger and rounder. I think I've seen this pattern before. What pattern? A circle? But yeah, that guy in the water prison, he didn't really... I mean, he's probably an important character, but, you know, out of all the victims so far, he had the least amount of interaction. Yeah, part of me was thinking maybe this is like, you know, the seven deadly sins, but it's ten victims, right? That he did ten or so years ago. So it's not quite that. How are you, Walter? Uh oh. Where is he standing? Like Where was he standing? What the hell is this? What the hell? 
we're in Silent Hill 3 all of a sudden. This is your apartment, right? Is it? It doesn't look it. Uh, well, it's the uh, triangle. Well, it is where the hole is. Guess this new. Yeah, it is your apartment. It's got a bit of a makeover. I can finally explore it in good old 3D. You're looking at something. Story here. The last few months, Joseph, the guy next door to me, who gave me that rare pool magazine, looks like he's been working super hard. He said if he found another rare one, he'd give it to me, but he hasn't shown his face around much lately. He said he was a journalist and he's always investigating stuff, but I think something strange is going on with him. He's been shutting his apartment and I can hear all these weird noises coming from there. July 1st, Mike. You know, you don't think it could be connected to that magazine, right? <laughs> oh, my beautiful Rochelle, what's with the note on the red paper? I thought you'd written a note back to me, but I guess maybe it was somewhere else. He took it along with my clothes. Those were my best clothes. July 2nd, Mike. Right. We have nothing written on it. Okay. Guess that's what you were looking at. You weren't looking for an enemy. You were looking. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a thing, isn't it, in these games? Where they'll, uh, you know, their head will be drawn to something you can pick up. Usually an important kind of item. Where the hell am I? Is this my apartment room or someone else's apartment room? I've seen Teaching the Spare Wish House. Wish House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Wish House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children out homes and raises them with hope. Is that intentional? Because it's like Silent Hill 4, you know, S for silent. No. But it's hard. It is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith Temp, who lives near Wish House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children singing. I mean, crying. Well, they could have been singing, but I'm pretty sure they were crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Wish House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Wish House is known by the locals simply as the Order. Oh, them old bastards. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, and its worshippers have the belief that they are among the elite chosen people as a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Wish House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Scriber. Yeah, that is the guy that was... I'm not sure if it's been mentioned or not, but I remember hearing, like... The name of the uh, guy that was there before, Henry. So, previous mm -hmm. occupant must have been this guy, and he was looking into the shady ass wish house, and someone or something must have made him disappear. 
photo of an nurse that says I love you on it. There's a key to have to the back of it. Take it to the back of it. Sky, is it the super? You is much younger in this picture. There's a key taped to the back of it. The nurse wouldn't happen to be Lisa, would it? Where have I not been here? Room back here, but I think I might have already checked it. Uh, yeah. So maybe I haven't checked the other one. That looks identical. Doesn't seem to be anything really else here. Oh, what? Oh, hello. Oh. I'm running around. These doors are hard to find, but everything's all grey and shit. Okay, 302 I'm looking for, alright. 302. Scrap red paper. It's the same way they show up under my door. Yeah, we'll pick it up then. Henry! Yeah. So I, I don't want to nose in other people's affairs. <laughs> so I would simply leave it be. Why are there all these carcasses around? What was that guy doing here? Could he be the next victim? Wait, who are you referring to? Or could it be? Wait. Oh, oh uh, wait, was... No, put... That door right here should be... Eileen's room, right? Maybe? Or is it your room? If it's your room, then it makes sense that... This would be Eileen's room over here. But then the room next to that had the joke subscriber notes, so that would imply that was your apartment. I'm confused. I forget what room number you had. Alright, there's apparently a door around here that I can interact with. Probably the door right here. Wait, never mind. Ah. Uh, they're just not highlighted as locked on us. Ah. Uh. Hello, Walter. I assume you're Walter. You look an awful lot like him. It's like we haven't even seen Walter. Well, we technically have. We saw him in the intro. Well, got nothing better to do. Sup, Walter? I got this from Miss Galvin. A long, long time ago. She was younger than me back then. She looked so happy, holding her mother's hand. Here. I'll give it to you. You just gave it to my foot? It's a shabby doll. Old doll given by the man sitting on the apartment stairway. She was so young then. So happy with life. You're not fooling just me, Walter. Holding on to her mother's hand. She was so young then. I could bash your brains in right now. So happy with life. 
just holding on to her mother's hand. I'm actually curious, can you actually, or will it just not <laughs> acknowledge it? Yeah, it won't acknowledge it. Like a Walter! Ah, ah. I mean, this is a blind let's play, but I'm not that blind. I can clearly tell that's Walter. See him in the intro looking all like high off his tits when Henry finally encounters him. But it must be later on when we, when that scene in the intro plays. Where am I going? Two oh five is locked. Oh, they haven't been slaughtered in this floor. Well, on this floor, I should say. I'll go the other way first. Also, like briefly browse the uh, the fandom wiki. And apparently these are uh, hellhounds. Because, I mean, I call the dog-like enemy... Well, the dog enemies in Resident Evil hellhounds. I might as well call them ones that little hellhounds. But apparently, and I mean, it kind of makes sense. Because I've noticed that. They don't actually chase you unless, you know, you get in range of them. Or you start running. That's the only way they get the folks. Otherwise, it'll just kind of leave you alone. It's a dead end, isn't it? Hello. I don't think the ghosts, you know, apply the same way. They'll just like float over to you and be like Aah. I mean is the hole gonna expand or is it gonna lead to another screen when I go over here? Oh. Yeah, there's not really much I can do about that, you were kinda in my way. Yeah, yeah, I think it's time to head back. Walter gun then. Walter. There, go here now. Kind of hard to see. I can see it more clearly on the Captain's Gun software than the TV. I guess it's the light from outside kind of making it a bit harder to see. Well, that's still there. Hey, hello. It's my apartment now, bitch. I mean, not that I really want it. It's a pretty shit apartment, you know. Especially when you got a freaking complicated lock keeping you inside. Well, you got out of bed quick for once. Anything new around here? Whoa. 
What? Is that Robbie? Since when did you learn to become a hot air balloon or something? It's nice that they're, you know, changing things every now and then. Then, like, so you'd be like, oh, yeah, I look out this window and it'll just be nothing, you know. And then you look up and it's like, what the heck? It doesn't really do anything, but it's kind of neat. Right, I suppose I should probably... Wait. Yeah, it's under my door. That's strange. So... Why was I in the room next door on the Joseph note. I'm so confused by that. Got two notes to look at. I figured that the riddle behind the numbers 01121 is actually 0121. In other words, 1 out of 21. So Walter was planning on killing 21 people. But he never finished the job. So, I guess that explains why he's back to uh, all that. It's like, oh, he's got to kill, like, another 10 plus 1. Also, uh, when that guy got, you know, killed by the electric chair, it's like, I didn't really make note of it at the time, but he was pretty much uh, saying, that kid, he's the 01121 whatever killer, you know, implying that that kid is Walter. He was convicted for the murders of Billy and Miriam Lokane, Khan, the seventh and eighth victims. Afterwards, he committed suicide in his jail cell. Apparently, that's the uh, that weird ghost twin baby thing, that one enemy. Also, they were, you know, the names that uh, were mentioned in Silent Hill 2. He killed, like, that's the only time you hear about Walter in the series up to this point. Was that he killed them two with an axe. And then, you know, he went to jail, and I guess he killed himself in jail, apparently. Because of the mass murders that turned people, shocked the world, and came to be known as the Walter Sullivan case. Where well, there are two big puzzles here. First is, what was the motive for the murders? The second is, why did he kill himself before completing his task? Was he simply insane? May 2nd. I don't know why they add the data at the very end of it, shouldn't it be at the start? It was four years ago that they discovered the body with 1221 carved into it. Right away I had this terrible feeling and couldn't stop shaking. The victim had been murdered six months earlier, but Walter had been dead for seven years, having committed suicide three years before the murder. The police think it's a copycat crime and are calling it the Sullivan case round two. Something about it bothers me. May 14th. Don't go out. I mean, not like he has much of a choice. Still arguing with whatever. Is my TV working yet? Just half expect him to like Walter to show up in like a kind of soul role and be like, let's play a game, Henry. What well, when was the first soul film even released? Was it before or after this game? I don't think I've ever seen any of the. Looks like Eileen's okay. I don't think I've ever seen any of the Soul films in its entirety before. Not that kind of film, you know. When it comes to horror, I don't really like the ghoul, you know. Prefer more like, you know, like this game, for example. Sure, there's gore in this game. But you know, that kind of vibe where it's a bit more psychological, you know. Not so much reliance on the violence and the gore, necessarily. Just that creepy atmosphere. Uh, 
Oh. What the fuck happened here? What the hell is this? Dried spray blood all over the place. I guess we're gonna have to do some washing, right? <laughs> Watch machine. I don't need that right now. I think you need it right now more than ever. It's a tank filled with oil. It's a tank filled with blood more like it. Look at all this blood. So, um, you're not going to do anything about this mess? I mean, if you manage to get out of here, Henry, you're going to have a lot of explaining to provided. You know, this isn't all in your head and your, this blood and stuff isn't actually here. You know, the, the hole in the wall and all that will also be, you know, very questionable. Just like, why have you got a giant hole in your uh, bathroom where the blood spilled over the place? Why have you got a peephole to your neighbor's room? Now I'm still surprised that what's his face that I can't even remember the name of got killed off. I mean, I'm not surprised that he got killed off, and just surprised he got killed off so anticlimactically. I thought he was gonna stick around a little longer, you know. What I mean is the uh, guy who got killed in the uh, chair. Oh, you're still here, are you? I thought for sure these guys were going to be brought back to life. It's locked from the other side too. Yeah, this is your room. Strange. Well, could it be that this game is messing with me? And I do not know where to go. I got a doll, but I don't know what to do with this. There's no door there, I keep making my mistake. Everything just kind of blends together in the darkness. Nope. Oh, hello. Fuck it. I'll just kind of stroll by. Don't mind me, doggy. I said don't mind me, doggy. Well, oh, hi, doggy. This is the room, after all. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Don't spam buttons like that in this game. So coming here was totally pointless. Is anywhere not totally pointless in this place? I feel like there is nothing really to do here, which is strange. Because, uh, I mean, where do I go from here? Hi, doggies. I mean, no new places opened up. Maybe I should, you know, head back and look at the doll again, I guess. Wait, what? Pile of garbage, nothing interesting about it. Ow! Everything is locked today. A lot of garbage. Ow! Ow! Nope. Damn. Keep making that mistake. Not again! I keep making that mistake. Stop it!
Hello. Really is nothing here. Wait. I haven't been down there, have I? No, I haven't. There's another portal. What is this? Is that portal? Well, it technically is a portal. Wait, no. Uh, Lieutenant Long is there. Numbers 104. I'm not going to take any of them out. Doggy. 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 Don't be a dick, doggy. Oh, fuck off. Now I've alerted your friend. All to confirm the obvious. That everything is locked. Run away, run towards the camera. Ah. Yep, yeah, it's going to be the same deal, isn't it? Every door will be locked. Yep. It's like, yep, you only confirmed one door is locked. What is that? I'm not gonna examine that? I mean, what the fuck is that? Shorter than the other. I imagine that big door might be locked. <laughs> Seems like a, kind of a puzzle room going here. Potentially. Yeah. That all the floors? Doors to me. Yeah, that's all of them. Camera angle indicates it can do something, but yeah, of course it can't. That makes no sense. Now, it must be said, some of the load times of this game suck. But it is an old game, after all. And she gone? It looks like Eileen... Okay, never mind. She's okay. She's just pacing back and forth. Maybe she's locked in her room, too. No new uh, notes. Is 
Do I have reason for your pacing, sir? Looks like he wants to try to do something. Like, probably try to open the door like he's been trying to. But he's like, I'm not gonna do that. Wait for him to come by one more time if he doesn't do anything then. Yeah. See him coming back? Uh, I don't think so. Well, that'll do for this part. Let's see you next time, viewers. See you next time.